chilling out with James the cat, which I miss. Miss. Oh, he's this is her. Mm. But I gotta go for my walk though. Mmm. So so. Mm. Alright, alright, just one more, just one more. Um, hell, it's, a, it's a breezy evening there, that's it. What was that? So, for if I stroll down the city, would you see him? Something else, but uh, fucking like fucking a month ago, was it? Yeah, a month ago, I saw this horrible, this horrible pornographic film from Japan. It's called uh, Princess Catchaway, or if you look up Princess Night Capture, if you look up Princess Night Capture, you'll find it. There's this one scene at the fucking beginning of it where she has, or I don't know, there's, it's, the storyline's not that complicated, but basically she has to, like, fucking blow, like, fucking a hundred POWs in a fucking, in a fucking underground cavern. It's Demon Gas forcing her to do it, and she has to fucking blow guy after fucking guy, buckets of cum fucking filling her. It's fucking terrible, man. It's awful. <laughs> They're like, I'm sorry, princess. <laughs> it's like, whoa, the fuck is something else, man? And then there's this other scene from from Princess Night Capture where fucking um, she has to fuck this giant purple pig man, and like her boyfriend is there, and he and he's like forced to watch. If she doesn't, if she doesn't fuck the giant purple pig man, he'll get like whipped. So she has to fuck it. But then like if she doesn't oink like a pig while she's getting fucked, he'll get whipped. He'll, he'll like he'll get whipped if she doesn't. He'll like get the shit beat out of him if she doesn't do that. So she's like she has to fuck this giant purple pig monster. It's horrible. And she's like what? The right, the right, the right, the right. And it's like oh god. We do not know. This is this terrible man. We we do not need this. Our society is better off without this. And now that's it. I don't know. Shit's mad interesting. You're delving into the psyche of some s sick motherfucker. Or, huh? Yeah, some fat kids yelling some stupid shit. But now it's, it's not so bad. It's like, fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. But chill your chills be. It's summer, man. It's not summer, it's spring. But it's a windy day for Robbie and his friends. Yeah, that's something else. Uh, I wear my sunglasses at night. Cause I can, cause I can. It's a beautiful song. It's a song called I Wear My Sun. You know, I'm taking these sunglasses off, Bo. I'm taking these sunglasses off. Cause, uh,. You know it's not cool. You know it's not cool tripping over your stupid ass stuff. Cause you wanna you wanna be fucking someone from the 80s. Like, oh, I'm wearing my sunglasses at night, man. No, you'll fucking trip over some dumb shit, kid. Skateboard and chip a tooth or some shit. With my luck, I'll fall down an unprotected manhole and get eaten by fucking alligators. But I'm just strolling through the city, strolling through the city, strolling through the city, and I ain't got no pity for the mofos in the city, cause I stroll through the city, and I get nitty gritty with the city. Four with a 50, 50 with the four with the 50, yeah, I don't know. You guys listen to Swisher House? Still tipping four foes, wrapped in four foes, tipping four foes, that shit's awesome, man. I don't give a fuck what nobody says that. That song's amazing. That song should have won a Grammy, not Britney Spears. Britney Spears, more like Britney Queers. 
What, you're gonna yell at a dog to make it stop screaming? How about shit? How about you, uh, you train your animals? <laughs> of course, accountability isn't your uh, forte. Now I see it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm such a goober. <laughs> but I'm gonna take you guys to someplace special, right? I never took you guys this place. It's very rare I take you, you motherfuckers, outside. It's a very special treat, a very special occasion indeed. Uh, to see old Robbie interact with his environment and shit, alright? Trust me, you're not missing much. Or, yeah, I don't know, man. Hmm. Yeah, there's uh, something else to... Mm, oh, hi. What's up? But I was saying, like, uh, yeah, you're not missing much. There ain't, uh, there ain't no sights, uh, there ain't no, um, <laughs> there ain't no candy lands and no shit down here. Right? There ain't no, uh, there ain't no Hershey Disney World and no shit. <laughs> Gotta use your imagination. It's like the internet without pornography. <laughs> yeah. Huh, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. How about that crazy government, man? Cause I'm so, uh, I'm so informed about po about the the political um, the political climate of of the United States of America. Nah, I mean a little bit. Someday I'm gonna be dictator, and I gotta learn a lot about. I gotta look like I gotta learn a lot about uh, about the politicals and all that bullshit. So I can become dictator of America. Cause look, look, we're not gonna save this shit with some measly ass president. It takes more than that. It's, we can't have people running around in circles and shit. We gotta have one, we have to have one power to decide the trajectory of our country. You can't be an, you can't be an arrow and then like explode into a bunch of like little grains of sand and expect to knock anything down. America is a bullet, and I am the sorry fool. <laughs> no. I don't hold any of these values, wink, wink. I'm a good boy. I believe in small changes over a long period of time, wink, wink. <laughs> Maybe if we got someone like Hillary Clinton in office, things would be, would be fucking badass. You know, we need some milk toast motherfucker who doesn't do anything. That's who, that's who we need. That shit's awesome, man. Uh, so, yeah, something else there. Oh shit, I can all run this shit. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we're like doing some of stuff, so. But I was fucking. Oh yeah. There's this other scene from Prince's Night Capture where, um. It was actually really horrible. This is a part of. This is a part of the, um. I think this is episode two, actually. This one scene. You thought her doing the stuff with the purple pig man was horrible. Oh shit. You thought that was bad, man. No way. There's this horrible, like, fucking. Oh, it's a crescent moon tonight. It's very nice. There's a scene where, um. It, I think it was, like, in the later half of episode two. And this, like, giant fucking potted plant creature like stuck its tendrils up her ass dude it started like laying shit babies inside of her she was like no not there that's where i that's where i take shits and stuff is like what the hell bro this is horrible this is not i know i do not i do not condone these i do not condone this horrible inhumane behavior no but it's, it's um yeah this is this is where most people should probably should probably not watch that that uh, that movie, that series, whatever you want to call it. But it started laying its eggs inside of her, man. 
It was terrible. Just then she like started like, they looked like turds, man. They looked like fucking turds. And she started like fucking shitting, man. She started fucking shitting all over the place. Like all these fucking like gay ass butt babies were implanted in her. She started shitting them out at us. Uh. That was that was probably the hardest of probably hardest I ever laughed at one of those uh, adult feature films. Most of the time, not that I feel bad. I don't have any uh, I have any regret on that shit, except when I watch Bo Boku no Pico. I try, I try, Bo, I try to fucking. Dude, I busted off to that shit, not gonna lie. Not because it was hot, but because I was trying to pr I was trying to see if I could, and I did, and it felt like fucking gross. It was like, oh my god, this movie, this fucking hentai dude, this shit is this shit is grossest shit I've fucking ever seen. <laughs> this shit's nasty. People think MLP no MLP stuff is awesome. You're a fucking liar, man. But no. Oh, that's awesome. Fucking, uh, yeah, that's shit. Like, Boku no Pico, man, oh yeah. Gotta watch out for sewer grates. I wouldn't want to draw my phone in that. That'd be, uh, that'd be inf unfortunate indeed. I don't tell where you're going at night, but I got my spidey sense of the bow. Some memorial shit, so. I don't know if I'm allowed to be in the park at night. My parents pay taxes, so you can you can you can you can stop being a bully right now. You know what? I just noticed something. The park, the playground, does not have any street lamps. None probably a sign that nobody's supposed to be in there. However, I have you know that my parents are, pack, are taxpayers, man. My, pa my parents pay ta their taxes. I'm the king of kings, man. I'm the king of kings. I'm not a smoker or anything. But like smoking, like smoking looks cool and shit. Like, she uses, come on. People are like, oh my god, cancer. It gives you, it gives you, it gives you cancer. It destroys your body and shit. It's like, both legit. Fucking, what's it called? Like, li like stress, like being stressed out and depressed and shit. That'll fucking destroy your body too. But we don't, we don't ban people from having crappy lives. We don't say them. No, we say no. No, stop smoking, man. It totally does not look badass, and it's not cool, and oh my god, it's gross. It's like, no, you're a liar. You lie to me. You're a fiend. You're a chump. You're a scoundrel. You're a coward. You don't know, you don't know nothing about the, about the nothing that you're talking about. Hmm? Uh, sorry, I saw some other, yeah. Yeah, this is some Slender Man shit. I can barely see where I'm going. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm trying to find my way to the playground. Bro, shit looks fucking mad different. Bro, take a look at this shit. Is this the fucking playground? No, wait a minute. I feel like a goober. No, I'm walking past the tents, bro. I'm walking past the tents. I gotta go around. This is some Slender Man shit. Luckily for me, luckily for me, I have the power of the Wu Tang Clan on my side. I listen to the Wu Tang Clan. I know all sorts of things. I know all about the 36 Chambers. Ooh, damn. Look at that shit, Bo. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. You ain't no match to me, haberdashery, stashery, stashery, bashery. Look at that shit. This is my kingdom, man. This is my kingdom. This is why I brought my sunglasses, actually. I brought my, um, these are like knockoff aviators. This is why I brought that shit, so though. I brought you to my special place. I brought you to my, to my palace. My cat, my, my land of wisdoms. I literally can't see anything in fucking front of me. With this fucking light contrast and shit. Yeah, I'm 
gonna show you that moon there. That's some good stuff right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, take a look at that shit. Uh, it's so subtle. Yeah, it looks some. Um, it doesn't look uh, crescent shaped here. But uh, yeah, it, but it is. You don't have to believe me. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo. Oh, what else did I watch? Oh yeah, actually, like um, almost two months ago, I watched this shit. This awful movie it was called Water Boy. It was like you can do it. I'm the Water Boy, and I just talk like this. It's like as Adam Sandler talks, like like he mocks a mentally disabled person for fucking an hour and a half or however long that awful movie is, man. It's like, Bo, Bo, this is not okay. I mean, like, I don't give a shit if somebody's, like, mocking, like, disabled people or whatever for, like, an uh, for, like, a movie or whatever, man. But it's, like, it's, it's Adam Sandler. This shit's not, this shit stops being funny after, like, 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it's, like, this hurts. This physically hurts. I'd say even after 10 minutes. And it just, a movie just got worse and worse and worse, and it got dumber and dumber. Oh, and there's this fuck, it, there, we watched, me and, yeah, me and my man Tony watched that shit. And then we wa we also watched, uh, actually, actually a, a few days ago, it was like, it was the weekend before this week, yeah, it was last weekend. We watched fucking, uh, what was that movie called? It was Employee of the Month. It was, it was just dumb. It was dumb. Oh yeah, and we also we watched Yoga Hosers a little while before that. Yeah, Yoga, dude, Bo. If you 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 think you're just gonna watch a movie that's so bad it's good? No, Yoga Hosers is not that movie. It's so bad, it, it's it's just fucking bad. It's awful. It's it's wretched. Like they they try they it, they try to make the, the idea seems kind of like funny and like wacky and random like some iCarly shit, but no, it is not. For after a little while, it's just it's terrible, man. Shit's awful. Like, the, it, it, it's a movie, like, it's so fucking slow-paced and stupid, and, God, it's gay. Mm, yeah, never, no, never watch fucking Yoga Hosers. Only watch Employee of the Month if you've got fucking drugs with you or some shit. Because other than that, you're not gonna fucking enjoy shit. Hold on. I hear conspiring whispers. Bo, I'm heading back home. Oh, uh, shit, so, so. Got what I wanted out of that shit. Yeah, this is Slender Man shit. My night vision is, uh, is as good as normal human night vision. There ain't no, there ain't no frills here though. There ain't no frills. Mr. Krabs is in there. Mr. Krabs is in there. Krusty, Krusty Krab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there, standing con the concessions, plotting his oppression. The government must be stopped. They're turning the frogs gay, man. The frogs never deserve any of this. Frogs help us, man. They fucking, you know the game Frogger, man. Where he gets fucking put through hell. But he does it because he cares about us. He believes in us, man. What's up with my screen that is fucking... It's not the screen. It's the fucking lens. It's like... It gets fuzzy and shit. Like, Bo, you work. Stop making excuses. But I want my own, like, I want my, not like necessarily cult, but I want my own, like, fucking, um, what'd you call it, uh, I want my own, uh, L live action role play kind of club where you can pretend to be like fucking wizards and shit. That'd be mad awesome. Have, like, have it, like, be like a secret order or whatever. We'd be like wizards and shit. That should be mad awesome. Dungeons and Dragons is, like, hasn't been popular for a while. For it depends where where you go, but yeah, I want I want I want live action role playing to be more popular than it is, or at least, or at least have it around more. Cause I like to, I like, I like the whole acting thing. I like the whole getting into a, another fucking, uh, like another personality, like transforming the fucking mode of being and shit. It's just mad cool.
Don't drop your phone down the sewer grate. Don't drop your phone down the sewer grate. Don't drop your phone down an unmanned manhole. Don't drop your phone down the sewer grate. Don't drop your phone in the flood drain. Don't drop your phone in the flood drain. It's turning into a, it's turning into a tongue twister here. Yeah, gotta use my spidey senses, bow. Gotta protect your neck. Protect your neck, man. That's one thing that the Wu Tang taught me is to protect your neck. Just something else, though. Mm. Hell yeah. Yeah, shit. Shit's awesome. But I'ma chill my chills, bro. Chill my chills. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. But I can't whistle. I wish I could whistle, man. I can't do none of that. I want to I wanna be able to whistle uh, whistle the Kill Bill song, aka the Chill Bill song, Rob Stone song, Chill Bill. I want to be able to whistle that stuff, man. But I am not a whistling connoisseur. I can play, can play guitar. That, take, that apparently takes more skill than whistling. But I can't whistle, man. It's not in me. I'm not a whistling guy, man. I wish I was. I wish I was a whistling guy, but I can't whistle. I'll never whistle. You'll never be a famous Broadway singer. You're just nothing. Get out of here. I can't scream that shit right now. You can imagine why. Uh, the neighborhood, no, they wouldn't be happy. They would be, in fact, they'd be very displeased. They'd tell me to stop. If I did it again, they'd, they'd, send their, they'd send their hounds of justice against me, tearing me limb from limb. Something else, though. Usually, when I'm walking, I, or like a lot of times, I'll just bring out a fucking guitar or some shit and I'll fucking play that while I'm walking. I'm careful when anybody watches or whatever. Gotta, gotta boost my stage presence and shit. Gotta keep my energy high, man. High fructose corn syrup. Mm. That poison on our genetics, man. That giving us deadly food or death. Oh shit, yeah. Let you check out this gig here. That's something else to oh, That's something else. else look at that log i heard this fence is electric i don't want to test none of that shit but i'm not an idiot <laughs> you should pee on it no i'm not a moron man i wouldn't i wouldn't throw a rock at that much less make contact with my fucking bodily fluids thus electrocuting my insides and dying instantly you get a cardiac arrest I wonder if Jamais will still be there in my house, yeah. But James is like the nicest cat I've ever met in my whole life. Like he just, he, it doesn't matter who you are. Serial killer, a Christian, someone else who's deplorable, doesn't matter. He'll just run up to you and he'll fucking, he'll love you, man. He'll just like cuddle up and snuggle and shit. And he's, he's an, not so, he's, he's like an outside cat. There's some, there's some lady who like owns him and shit, but she just lets him outside. But he's just like the nicest cat I've ever met, dude. There's gotta be like a human soul trapped in him or something. Cause I've never met a cat that's like, that's just like, most cats are like standoffish or they'll like, they'll test your, they'll test your shit or something, or they'll have to get used to you. Some, some shit will happen. I've met cats that like just do not like me. And in fact, some, I've met some cats that don't like, they're just assholes or whatever. But James is like, he's like, he's like if a, he's like if a dog 
Like if a dog and a person, like the positive traits of both went into a cat. And you know, the one thing about cats that I like better than dogs is that they don't bark, they're just chill. Cats don't, cats don't make a fucking noise usually, unless they're like, it depends, but usually, you know, dogs will let everybody know, dogs will let everybody know, man, no, nah, man, cats, cats is God's children. Yeah, so that's nice stuff. Yo man, Z-list celebrity, walking through like he owns the place. Tell that Robert Corstein hooligan, tell him he's just a chump, man. Tell him he's nobody. Tell him he's a bum. He better go back to his mama's house where he fucking belongs. Because he ain't nobody, man. He ain't nobody. Deadly Roscoe got a plan for that boy. Man. I'm just holding it down and shit, man. I'm selling, I'm selling what I, I'm selling shit I gotta sell, man. I get food, I'm making money. Oh, shit. Nah, man, some girls are done. Hey, you guys ever listen to the band Morphine? That's a good band. Too bad the lead singer died. It's terrible. Uh, it happens to the best of us, though. Yeah, there's this band called Morphine. I used to listen to them a lot. I still listen to them. But uh, they're one of my biggest musical inspirations whenever... Uh, well, one of my early inspirations. There's some stuff that they do in Musk. Like, oh, shit, it's windy. It's, it's, uh, some of the stuff that it is is probably still unfortunate with me and some shit, but, oh. Oh, God, please help me. This breeze is gonna knock me off my feet. Oh, I think I got a pebble in my eye. Oh, yeah. There's some dust or some shit. That's all that stuff. You're probably wondering, Robbie, why do you always have to talk in an effeminate black man voice or some kind of offensive stereotypical Jewish voice? It's because I watched the fucking Wiz when I was in the fucking seventh grade. It was in music class. And that shit was just the most over the top shit I've ever seen at that time. <laughs> oh no! This fucking like over the top shit. Michael Jackson shit. Some faggot put some fag shit inside of this fag car. It's like a good fast yeah, so. <laughs> What is this? What is this shit? Run this is some running in the 90s shit. This is some Eurobeat shit, bro. Chill your chills. The night's not ending yet. But yeah, Morphine has this one song called, uh, uh, oh yeah, it's called Early to, it's called Early to Bed, it's a very good song. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man a woman miss out on the night life. It's a very nice song. Mm. I'm all set back here and said. Oh yeah, and they have a song called Buena. That's probably that's probably one of their most like kick ass songs. It makes you wanna get up. And it's just a, it's just a the guy who sings who there's just three people in the band. There's a drummer, there's a guy who sings, he plays like a like a like a bass guitar with a slide. Like only like two or like two or three strings maybe. 
It's like some weird guitar bass hybrid. It's really neat. And then there's like a guy who plays saxophone. Sometimes he plays like a du like a double sax. He'll play two saxophones at the same time. It's something else, man. I can't play one of those. You know that'd be cool to play the saxophone. Hey, what if there's a death metal band but had like brass instruments as well? That'd be neat. People better start jumping up on that bandwagon. Or what about tropical death metal? Put some steel drums and fucking slide guitar and shit and fucking like wooden tongue drums or whatever. I'll mix that in with some death metal and maybe some polyrhythms and shit. That that would be mad cool though. James is around, he's hiding somewhere. Well, let's take a look at this tree, man. Oh, shit. Damn, yeah, that tree is looking nice. It's a nice tree, man. That's good stuff. Okay. Alright, that pretty much ends it.